Certainly the Akron Police Department hasn't had the type of incidents that we've seen uh, across the country in cities like Ferguson and Baltimore uh, with, with um, you know, mass scale protests following you know, incidents involving officers. But that being said, you know, do, do you feel like the, the city of Akron needs to implement some type of police reform? And if so, what would that look like? Well, I think Akron has been blessed with a, a very good police department. Um, and uh, as you say, there hasn't been a crisis. Uh, I, I think that probably um, they, it would be helpful to move in the direction of uh, more community policing, where the police officers interact with the community. This way, you know, if a crime does happen, they're much likely, more likely to get information on uh, solving the crime. And uh, the other thing is uh, we have a good model on how to uh, do policing by um, Mayor Giuliani in New York. I mean, in the 70s, uh, New York was a terrible place, but then Giuliani came to power and uh, introduced uh, reforms. Um, and uh, actually, uh, I think he has a consulting company that uh, Akron could uh, reach out to. I, I don't know what their costs are. I have to look into that. Uh, to address precisely those issues. I mean, what should be done to uh, minimize the crime in a city? Okay, well, there's always room in, for uh, improvement. And yes, as we know, first of all, we have to be able to say that there is an issue, okay? And we need to be able to do whatever it takes to bridge the gap for police officers in the community. And I do know recently um, they have been getting out of the car uh, and walking the neighborhood to be more friendly. I mean, not to say that they weren't friendly, but to just be, uh, to, to really get to know their community. That's been one of their things that they've been doing lately within the community. But yes, I would agree for uh, reform because there's a, uh, a way of their thinking that uh, might affect how they're doing their job. I know that uh, the one bishop at uh, the church of, uh, I can't think of his church, I don't know why it escaped me, he's teaching implicit bias, uh, a series uh, to, to police academies, you know, and he's uh, uh, Pastor Joey Johnson. He's from Akron, and I am all for whatever it takes to bring cohesiveness to the residents uh, in the city of Akron. And police officer is a hard job. I just attend a uh, meeting, it was a luncheon that uh, Officer uh, Lloyd Ford taught about uh, policing the community, and those are the things that I try to do to keep myself aware of what's going on in the community. Mr. Thompson. I agree, again, with, uh, with Ms. Blake, that um, there is definitely an issue uh, between, unfortunately, between the law enforcement agencies and many of our citizens that there doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, being a police officer is definitely a difficult and um, not only stressful, but a uh, trying job, I would imagine. I know several police officers, and I think that one of the things that um, we need to recognize is that they enter into service as law enforcement officials to do good. I think that they, they enter into service to, to try to, to be protectors and providers of a valuable service to our community, but throughout the process of the exposure to a lot of the difficulties, some of those stresses start to um, perhaps cause them to be not as effective as they otherwise might be. So there might be ways of um, training to uh, help police officers cope with some of the stresses of the job and better be able to relate to the community and also ha have this kind of awareness um, made throughout the community so that people are more aware of what police officers do day in and day out. I know in my neighborhood and talking with residents, one of the things that they've requested is more police patrol to encourage a, a safer uh, neighborhood and reduce some of the small crimes. So they're very necessary in our community. Ms. Blake, would mm -hmm. you care to follow up at all? Uh, yes, and again, I think once we're, we're given access to information to really find out what's going on um, and the breakdown, uh, with the police officers in the community. I do believe that there should be a paid position for the police auditor, um, as uh, formerly said by um, the mayoral candidate, Eddie Siblin, and we would find probably some other weaknesses uh, or they would be exposed for the probably 
we don't have enough police officers and they're overworked anyway. And that would probably be exposed, you know, um, by me attending the luncheon that was this week, again, taught by uh, Officer uh, Lloyd Ford with the uh, Community Welfare Forum that was just put on. You know, one of the suggestions was that we should have precincts, but I don't think we're, we, we have enough in our budget to even probably do that. But we do know it does need to be reformed. Mr. Tennessee. I have no further comment on that. Uh, you know, I, I don't think we need that word reform. I think support, just to support them in, in the best way we can. I think that's a communication where a lot of times um, I'm, I don't think about how do I support our safety forces, you know, as a person, what do, you know, um, taking cookies, do, you know what I, I mean, but just to, to, to somehow get our word behind them. And I think if, when they're visible, you know, that helps the safety of our community. So I, I really do think uh, number one is just supporting them the best that we can, you know, and uh, making our streets and, and everything uh, uh, safer. Uh, maybe uh, building some way to build a bridge from the community to our law enforcement, you know, of, of uh, you know, seeing them in a different light and, and, and just getting that whole idea that really they're here to help us. They're not here to harm us. They're not there to, to make money or whatever. They're, they're initial of the people I know that are in these um, jobs is to help us. And so um, I think that needs to be understood. And there's got to be a way we can communicate that more and also just put more money, whatever we can, behind them to support them and allow them to do their job. Mr. Darlington. Um, I, as a resident of Akron, am very proud of the Akron Police Department and the efforts that they've done. Um, we've had a, a long period of time over the past few years where we were well under the authorized strength within the charter and um, guidelines, so officers were having to do much more um, than they should because of the staffing. Uh, we've got to make sure that as city council members who control the purse strings of the city of Akron, that we get the dollars to the law enforcement that they need. You mentioned the fact that we are gonna get a federal grant for the body cameras. Along with that is we have to, as a city of Akron, come up with a matching dollar amount. Um, they're funding 50%, we have to fund 50% or we get nothing. Um, I have absolutely no doubt that the members of city council will figure out a way in the budget to make that happen. With that said, um, I think that the city of Akron's police department is making some very uh, positive progress as it relates to uh, interaction with the city. Um, the um, Chief Nice, um, not that long ago, and um, came up with or, or uh, pushed through a uh, park and walk process where officers are asked to park their vehicles and uh, walk the neighborhoods. And it's not walking where the crime is, it's walking in the good neighborhoods so that folks get to actually see and interact with the officers. The bad guys get to see the police all the time. The good folks of the city of Akron need that opportunity and, and they are doing a great job of that now. Mr. Martin, do you care to follow up? Or? No, good answer. And you know, I, I think both from, from Wayne and I can tell that, that we are there to support what's going on. And you know, I think that's what, it says need reform, but just support and just uh, uh, not only money-wise, but just, to, uh, uh, just, just in, in, in our communities. And so, uh, very good answer. <laughs> and again, I will say that the city um, overall, we have done a better job of supporting of our officers of late. There were um, some times not that long ago where we had public officials coming out and um, saying negative comments about our um, Akron police forces and um, many of those were undeserving. Um, I am pleased that um, City Hall and, and Council has done a much better job recently of uh, letting those officers know that they have our support and um, if I am elected they will definitely have my support.